Baywatch was a staple of entertainment back in the 1990s, and though some of the storylines might be considered flat and uninteresting in today's standards, the show had quite a lot going for it, especially when it came to the handsome cast. In this week's video, I'm counting down my picks for the top 10 Baywatch hunks. Follow the yellow brick road. David Hasselhoff was basically the backbone of the show and is considered by many as an icon in his own right. This actor and singer became famous for starring in two of the biggest series of the 1980s and 90s, Knight Rider and Baywatch, portraying Mitch on the latter. Baywatch premiered in 1989 but was cancelled after one season. Believing the show had massive untapped potential, Hasselhoff stepped in as producer and invested his own money in the show and it clearly paid off. Thank you, David Hasselhoff. I found out that they wanted to censor the show in Ireland. <laughs> Really? The worst thing we have is people wearing small bathing suits and that's in some parts of the world is considered ridiculous because they don't wear bathing suits in half of Europe. <laughs> Coming in on number 9 on this list is Michael Newman, who is the only cast member from the first season to have actually worked as a lifeguard before becoming an actor. He was also a former Iron Man competitor. Not that Iron Man. Fun fact, Michael Newman's character was named, well... Michael Newman. Bet you didn't know that. And as you watch the show. Also, he was only paid $350 per day for the first season. He had several guest spots on the short-lived spin-off series Baywatch Nights. Do you think Michael Newman with his airy chest belongs on this list? Airy man. Let me know in the comments. I love the 70s and 90s and especially the 80s. That was when music was still playing on MTV. And that is why I created this channel. I stay in a tropical paradise, but there is one downside to living in such a remote location. There isn't much to do here. Sure, we have restaurants, shopping and drive through but that is about it. So, to keep myself entertained, I'll be reenacting some of the most iconic moments from the 1980s in a video series that'll premiere next year. So, stay tuned and subscribe. From Twink to Hunk. Parker Stevenson is best known for his role of Frank Hardy in the 1970s TV series The Hardy Boys. Tonight on The Hardy Boys. But when the show came to an end, he joined the cast of the most promising show of the 1990s. Let's rest. Dark Cajun beauties, sleep, lots of sleep, Creole temptresses. He became an overnight sensation by starring alongside Tina Hartrop, Sean Cassidy, and the Hardy Boys, Drew Miss, Drew, Drew, Drew Nancy, Drew Nancy Mysteries, Drew Nancy Mysteries. And his popularity followed him to Baywatch, where he portrayed Craig for the first season and returned as a recurring character in seasons eight and nine. You gotta concentrate, all right? Wait, concentrate. Listen to me, talk to me. Okay, you okay? Good. Jose Solano got international recognition for portraying Manny Guat... For portraying Manny on Baywatch and became the first Hispanic regular on the series. Hey, wow, look at you. You're great. In 1996, was, he was named as one of the 50 most beautiful people in the world by YA magazine. For those born after 2001, YA magazine was a teen magazine that began publishing in 1932 and ceased publication in 2004, most likely due to the rise of online publishing. What in the hell was a magazine? Let me explain. Before the society of self-indulgent selfie hoes, and long before the rise of the social age where social media made us all unsocial. There was a time when you couldn't just get your information from the internet with the click of a button. You had to go buy a bound heap of pages called a magazine to get the latest news, gossip, celebrity photos, or something to jerk off to. Before joining the cast of Baywatch, John Allen Nelson portrayed the hunk in a movie called Hunk which I reviewed for my Friday reaction videos. Really? I'll leave a link in the description below. This handsome actor even portrayed Deathstalker in the Deathstalker 3 movie, The Warriors from Hell. I always thought that the Deathstalker posters reminded me of a Mose and Boons book. That is, if they published fantasy instead of softcore porn masquerading around as romance novels. He portrayed John D. Court on Baywatch from 1989 to 1995, before moving on to other projects, including the short-lived fantasy series Sheena, which ran for two seasons. You're up. Good. Have 
heads up the map. Though only appearing in Baywatch for seven episodes between 1992 and 1996, the American professional surfer Kelly Slater belongs on his list in my opinion. He was crowned the World Surf League champion a record 11 times and is regarded by many as the greatest surfer of all time. This handsome surfer appeared in numerous surfing movies, was a model for Versace and has two Quicksilver stores named after him. Jeremy Jackson is an American singer and actor best known for portraying Hobie Buchanan in 159 episodes of Baywatch, which is more episodes than any other actor except for Asseloff. Give me a break, all right? Friday's the only night we get to rehearse late. The show made him a teen idol and eventually a hunk who tried to broaden his career by venturing into singing, releasing two albums between 1994 and 1995. The thing I like most about being a lifeguard is I can work days and have nights free from my band. We're really starting to sound good. In 2009, he appeared on VH1's Confession of a Teen Idol. Confessions of a Teen Idol. Come on, guys, give me a minute! Which was a reality show that ran for eight episodes in which former teen idols attempted to revitalize their careers. In the series, Jackson claimed that he beat out hugely popular teen star Leonardo DiCaprio for the role of Hobie Buckner. This was later verified by David Hasselhoff. If their egos don't get in the way. Jason Simmons, I, I, I hope it's Jason, but not Jason! That reminds me of a very silly game that I played back in the day on PlayStation 3. Jason! Jason! Jason Simmons is an Australian actor best known for his role of Logan Fowler in the TV series Baywatch, which he portrayed between 1994 and 1997. Despite common misconception during the height of his popularity, he has no relation to Gene Simmons from the band Kiss. This blue-eyed, blonde-haired lifeguard melted hearts and kept viewers glued to their screens. His character was so popular that he even starred in a spin-off made-for-TV movie, Baywatch the Movie Forbidden Paradise. French singer, actor and model David Charvet played Matt Brody for 70 episodes between 1992 and 1996 and quickly became a fan favorite for obvious reasons. Brody, Chandler, off the blocks. The rest of you, take your marks. He even appeared as a cover model for YM Magazine in 1997. I live at the beach and I've got a girl who's working on her tan hustling me. His modeling career took off after graduating from high school. He signed with Elite Model Management and by the age of 18 he landed national print campaign ads for Levi's, Miller's Outpost, Coca-Cola and Bulge Boy Casual Wear. Wait, 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 no, I, I, that can't be right. I think it's supposed to be Bugle Boy. Yes, Bugle. Sorry, typo. He released three albums between 1997 and 2004, all of which charted in Europe but failed to make an impression in the USA. For a lot of viewers, one name comes to mind when thinking about Baywatch. David Chukachi. He began his acting career in 1995 on Baywatch in the role of Cody Madison. But this handsome actor is not just a pretty face, running around half naked on the beach. How about a day off? Between lifeguarding and Stephanie's training schedule, I don't have a whole lot of free time. He worked as a congressman in 1990 and has a degree in political science. He is also devoted to animal rights, which makes him okay in my book. He was one of the seven cast members of the short-lived reality show Confessions of a Teen Idol, which coincidentally was produced by 80s teen idol Scott Bayo. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to click like and subscribe. That way you'll stay up to date as soon as I post a new video. I post new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. For a similar video to this one that I specifically picked out for you, click on this link or try the YouTube suggestion.